Let's turn to President Trump's pick for the Supreme Court. As you know, Democratic Senator Jeff Merkley of Oregon is vowing to filibuster Judge Neil Gorsuch because he believes that you and your Republican colleagues, in his view, stole the Scalia seat. Merkley writes, quote, Senate Republicans are in the middle of pulling off one of the great political heists in American history. So the question is, if Merkley makes good on his threat to filibuster, will you indeed take President Trump's advice and Mitch go nuclear? <laughs> Well, well, first, with regard to this, the, the theft of the seat, you know, you'd have to go back 80 years to find the last time a Supreme Court vacancy in the middle of a presidential election year was confirmed by the Senate. You'd have to go back to the Grover Cleveland administration in 1888 to find the last time a, a Supreme Court vacancy in the middle of a presidential election year was confirmed by the Senate of an opposite party. Uh, Joe Biden said in 1992, a presidential election year had a vacancy existed, they wouldn't have filled it. We all know that that seat would not have been filled in the middle of a presidential election year, no matter who was the president or who was the Senate. Well, you, now, with regard to the new go ahead. Uh, nominee, uh, the president has uh, picked uh, an incredibly qualified, well-qualified uh, individual. Uh, the search was handled extremely well. I want to commend the administration for that. He's picked an outstanding nominee who's got a sterling uh, background of outstanding accomplishment at every phase of his uh, life, then I'm very confident he'll be confirmed. The issue you asked me about is how will that occur, and I would say that is up to our Democratic friends. Any one senator can require the entire Senate to cast 60 votes to stop a filibuster and move to what we call an up or down vote, a simple majority vote on a nominee. So. Any one senator could make us get 60 votes. That has happened before. We had to get 60 votes for Justice Alito about 10 years ago. If we have to get 60 votes, I'm confident we will. Just in point of clarification, obviously, uh, Justice, um, it, uh, President Reagan introduced uh, a nominee in uh, 1987, uh, and then he was confirmed in 1988. So it's not as though he's never, no, no, no Supreme Court justice has ever been introduced during a presidential election year, although it was, he was introduced in the vacancy. The right. vacancy did not occur in a presidential election year, Jake. That's what I said. Okay, no, I just want to make sure that people understand that. Um, but I just want to underline this point. You just asserted, basically, that if Democrats attempt a filibuster, you will change the rules and use the nuclear option, correct? No, I, no, I haven't said what, what will happen at that point. I'm confident that we'll get 60 votes. Uh, Look, this justice, uh, this nominee ought to be treated just like uh, President Clinton and President Obama were treated. In the first uh, term of President Clinton, two Supreme Court uh, nominees, no filibuster. No filibuster. We were in the minority like they are right now. President Obama, in his first term, two Supreme Court nominees. My party was in the minority. No filibuster. What we're arguing here for is equivalency. They're having a very, very difficult time, Jake, trying to come up with arguments against uh, Judge Gorsuch. This is an outstanding uh, 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 nomination. You could argue the most outstanding judge in the current appellate court system. So they're really struggling to try to figure out some basis upon which to oppose him.